quarters, they'd crush me. The White House responded to the murder has been put on the Again in the refinement tank to the west end of the planet. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 when life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 preset camera two. Now we go in 30 seconds, I think I'm losing my mind. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. Ready for your weekly grill? Like a double cheeseburger with onions. You're ordering the water, Captain. Room service. Room service. Down the stream. Coming. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. Oh, oh, oh. Hi. Come on in. Where are you like it, Miss? <laughs> uh, by the bed. You are her, yes? Sometimes, yes. I like your program very, very much. Thanks. In my country, we have nothing like. We have just Baywatch, Xena, but not that. Where are you from? Small country, Slovenia. You know him? I know of it. Most of Americans not knowing. They know in Bosnia, Chechnya, but uh, not Slovenia. You know, I have a saying, if you won't find Trevenia, you just go until smelling it, and then you turn right when you step into it. <laughs> Here's your check. 17% gratuity included. Thanks. Is there something else? My name is Bago. Bago Trpskia. It's an honor to meet you. Thank you, Bago. I wish you the best of luck. And to you. server here, um, Bago something. Could you have him come back up here, please? Are you sure name was Bago? Yeah. B Bago. Bago? Right. But no one by that name works here. What do, what do you mean there's no Bago? He was just here. I think that's possible, ma'am. I'm sorry. Corporations are offering their employees 12 weeks severance pay if they sign away their right to sue. Two weeks pay if they don't. So? So you can sign away your right to anything if you want to. Is that legal? Sure, why not? So you have the right to sign away your rights. Is that it? No, but think about it. But, jeez. You look like hell. I played host to an unexpected guest last night. Unexpected or unwelcome? Unbelievable. Yeah, baby. Yeah. What if, say... 
General Motors offered $1,000 to every plumber in Los Angeles never to buy a Ford truck again. That's coercion. Right. But here we've got dot-coms paying laid-off workers not to sue. That's hush money. Wait, no, that's different. How is it different? Because... I'm not so sure. This is the story. And if you're nice to me, Sweeney, I'll tell you what it is. Please don't make me beg. How many rights would you sign away if only the price were right? You mean besides my privacy? Did we sell that? I thought we gave that away. You think I'd do this for free? Mm. Jackson, can I see you? Alice, listen. I think I got a great idea for a cooking show. A what? Yeah, but our kind of cooking show. Something different, something with an edge. And this is the title I have in mind. Cooking with angst. Cooking with angst? How yeah. do you cook with angst? Well, first we find an angry chef. And then we invite on a celebrity who's had a difficult time that week. You know, a politician who's down for the count, a movie star whose movie was a big flop. And they cook. With angst. You see, they pound that meat with a vengeance. They choose spices that suit their mood, like paprika for depression, like cloves for... Uh... Claustrophobia. Yes, cloves for claustrophobia. And then every segment is going to end with a special dinner. Just imagine, Lewinsky serves mutton to trip. Why would she eat it? Why? Because they're on TV. Jackson, I really need to talk to you. Yeah, so talk. No, off. Off camera. Well, Harry's on the perch. You're okay. Take a look at this. The Stravinian guy left it folded up in my room service napkin. An hour later, they found the real waiter tied up in the housekeeping closet. You think this is legitimate? Well, if it is, then you've got a rogue state with a secret cache of chemical weapons, a violation of the 1997 Helsinki Accord, and Travinia has an ironclad defense pact with the Russians. So? So, why risk sanctions for illegal weapons that you don't need, unless someone's giving you a good price for them? And why pay a good price for chemical weapons, Jackson, that you don't intend to use? Don't you think you're taking an awfully big leap from a badly misspelled letter? You don't even have a verifiable source. I think that if it walks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, then it's probably a duck. Hey, uh, come here. Come on in a minute, would you? Hi, Alice. Hello, Tamir. Tamir, what do you know about Trevinia? Um, bastard child of Eastern Europe. Major black market. Former Soviet satellite, and I think they have an ex-KGB agent as their president. And I thought he used to be a car salesman. Yeah, and Tony Soprano's in garbage management. Europe turns a blind eye because the cheeky sod took in thousands of Albanian and Balkan refugees, and I think they'd rather have a whorehouse in their backyard than another Bosnia. Alice, I don't have a good feeling about this. Trevinia and Belarus are due for international weapons inspection in two weeks, Jackson, and suddenly I get this letter. Don't you think that's a bit coincidental? It's not the coincidence I'm worried about. It's tantalizing, but you're never going to get a press pass if they know why you...